right guys what is going on got my trailer hooked up fixing to head out all right guys so today is the day i'm going to go pick up my new kayak and i'm super excited the plan is we're going to go eat an early supper after say hello bud on Say hello, bud. Oh, oh, she's got a little bit of a hurt back leg. I don't know how she hurt it. I guess going up and down the stairs. The plan is we're going to eat an early supper. We're going to go leave from there. And then we're going to head up to Greensboro and pick up the new kayaks. And I did say kayaks. Bella, you want to say hello? You want to say hello? Yeah, good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. Anyway, we're going to head up to Greensboro and pick up the kayaks. Yeah, super, super excited. Um, like a kid at Christmas time right now. So I'm going to go down and take my shower, get ready. And I've been working on this trailer, trying to get the, the lights to work and I can't, I can't get them to work. I'm going to, I'm going to get me some LED lights to put on it. As you can see, I've been tinkering around with it. Uh, this thing's got power to it because I got a light in here. The little light comes on when, the, when there's, uh, and there's power so my, i know i got power but i took all this apart where the junction was at and you know tried to try to get it to work but i can't get anything to to to, to work with it so i'm just going to stop at advance or walmart or somewhere and get me fit me up some set of led lights for this thing and see if that helps but Guys, you know what I got yet? Ours, <laughs> manual. This is my drive. This is my pedals. Alright guys, now we're going to put the rudder system on. One screw goes down on the top and one, one screw goes up from the bottom. Then you want to get the rudder straight. So you want to line the rudder up straight where it's pointing straight. And then you just want to Get your rudder straight here. Make sure it looks good and straight. And then just tighten that knob down right there and that's all you gotta do. On this new hubby 12 foot passport. 
What I got guys, a new, a new hubby 12 foot passport. No. This is one kayak, this is my son's kayak. My kayak sitting over on the trailer. A little bit more prep for that kayak before I show it to you. But my older son, he's excited about his kayak. Alright guys, there's my son's, my oldest son's, he wanted the seagrass, uh, Hobie Passport. So there it is, all set up, ready to go. I didn't even let him, told him didn't, he didn't have to worry about taking it out of the pack, out of the plastic, I'd do it, I knew how to put it together, i work up there, so, <laughs> so that's it right there. Uh, first thing I always do, Put a leash on that drive. First thing you want to do. So that way you can take this right here and hook it somewhere on your kayak so you don't lose that drive. You do not want to lose those drives, they're too expensive. That's the first thing you want to do when you get a kayak when you get a new kayak with a drive is put a leash on it. It's the first thing. Once you get it set up. Just paddle for it. It's ready to go. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. At least I hope it is. <laughs> Has been for me. I've been really, really excited and very eager to get this thing out of the water. Uh, just got it home, just got it set up. Uh, nothing's on it, it's just stock right now. And put anything on this boat yet. But trust me, there's a lot going on the boat. <laughs> Alright guys, you ready? You ready to see the new kayak? For 20. 20, 20, 21. 2020 just went. Here is the 360 mechanism. This is how you turn that. This is for the rudder. Hi guys, so we got a lot to put on the boat. As we go along, I'll show you what we're putting on the boat. 
Cannot wait to get in this thing and take it out and check out this 360 drive. I'm very, 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 very excited on using this thing. Now, it won't go all the way in 360 right now because of the, uh, the PVC on the bottom, but guys, I am super, super stoked to start mounting everything on this boat and get it out on the water. Guys, if you like this reveal, you thought it was interesting, keep you in just a little bit of uh, suspense, enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel because there is going to be a lot more fishing going on out of this boat from here on out. Still use the Outback over there and the occasional passport. I could definitely make that work in certain situations as well. Where I need a light boat to get in certain situations, that'd be a nice boat to use. Alright guys, to the next video, as we put things on it, as we rig this thing out, I've got some cool stuff to mount on it, I'll take you along for the ride. Guys, take care. We'll see you next video. Peace out.